What's up guys, in today's video I would like to show you my favorite build in Cyberpunk 2077 which is heavily inspired by Cyberpunk Edge Runners. and uh, it's basically David's Sandavistan and Lucy's Monowire combined into one build and uh, before I start this I would like to show you that this is on very hard and uh, this is how the build uh, looks like in action As you can see the cooldown is pretty low, so this means that I can use the Sandy again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over here right quick and as you see the cooldown has already been reset. So now I'm activating it again. One down, two, three, four. Boom. Done. This is how your character skill tree should look like. Um, I'm gonna have to say that intelligence is a bit optional but of course you can play around with it as you please so I'm going to put up some screenshots on screen here and uh, feel free to pause them and read them if you like and uh, I will put what I have invested into each skill Now for the cyberware, obviously you need a Sandevistan. Uh, I've chosen this Sandevistan because it has a pretty low cooldown and it slows time for like about 13 seconds. And when we press on it, you can see that I have uh, a Sandevistan overclocked processor, which pretty much uh, increases the duration by 0.5 seconds. It's not a lot, but you know, it, it's, it's worth it. And then you have the Sandevistan heatsink, which pretty much reduces Sandevistan cooldown by two seconds. And then thirdly, this is what I use, uh, while Sandevistan is active, increases critical damage by 15%. So these are the three mods that I use for my Sandevistan. And as you can see, my frontal cortex, I have heal on kill, so pretty much what this does is it heals 10% of uh, your health after you defeat an enemy. And then you have limbic system enhancement, which increases critical chance hit by 4%. Then you have X-Disc, which I don't really need because I don't actually use hacking anymore because obvi obviously I'm using this one. And then I have a uh, Croce Optics uh, 3. And then I have these mods installed. Uh, pretty much they, these don't do much except for the critical uh, chance hit. And if I remember correctly, I think you need to have at least 9 in intelligence in order to get the critical uh, hit uh, bonus uh, cyberware mods. As for my curricular system, I have the bioconductor, which reduces all cyberware cooldowns by 30%. And this is something you would want to have. And as you saw, my Sandevistan uh, had a pretty low cooldown. Then I have a bio monitor, which in instantly restores 100% health when my health drops down below 15%. Which is, I mean, a good thing, because you never know what can happen when you play this game. And then I have second heart, and you all know what that does. As for my immune system, I have pain editor 
which pretty much reduces incoming damage by 10%, which is pretty good to have if you're gonna be a solo. And then I have Shock and Awe, so what this does is pretty much it releases a uh, Electro Shock that deals uh, damage to enemies nearby, and uh, this is when uh, there is a 10% chance of this releasing, but uh, usually it works pretty well for me at least. My nervous system, I have the Kareznikov, which pretty much allows you to aim and shoot while sliding or dodging and you know it slows time by 90% while doing this so it, like everything turns slow motion. And then right here I have subdermal armor which pretty much increases your armor by 300 and this is very very useful. And then of course we have the optical camo, this one is pretty good to use if you wanna stealth your way and then you know sneak attack your enemies uh, without them even realizing that you're there. And then I have the heat converter uh, as my third uh, cyberware here. My skeleton, I have the synaptic signal optimizer which also increases health by 60% so with this and that combined you get a huge chunk of health that could be very useful when you're playing this uh, playstyle. And then I have Micro Robotors. So what this does, it increases your attack speed by 20% and makes you way faster. And of course, the most important thing, arms. So I have the Legendary Monowire. As you can see, it has 4635.7 damage per second. And the damage it deals is 1119. This of course depends on how much you have leveled up. The higher the level you are and the higher skills that you have invested into blades, the higher this gets. And the mods I use for this, now this is the one that I think is the most important. It's the monowire battery, uh, high capacity, uh, which pretty much uh, when you hit with your monowire, as you can probably see, the, there's 100 on the left and on the right. So when I use it, you can see it just slowly goes down. And of course, if you have this, it will take longer for it to be empty. Then I have monowire physical damage, and then I have sensory amplifier, which also increases crit damage by 20%. For legs, I just have double jump. I think it's pretty useful. Now with all this being said, I'm going to show you a montage of me doing Don't Fear the Reaper ending with this build. And it's just so insanely overpowered, good and fun. Yeah, and that's uh, pretty much it. So if you reached this far, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, consider leaving a like or even subscribing if you enjoy this content. I've been trying to post more regularly uh, now after my video about River Ward kind of exploded. So I don't really know what type of content I'm going to make in the future, but leave a comment suggestion on what you would like me to do next. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and peace out.